how you do it. King King, do you love me? What up, bros? You already know what to do, what it is. Mike Diaz here, dog with the big homie Hugo, Poppy G. Uh, today, we are going to be pulling off the fender because the door's already off. We came up on a fresh door. Only problem is, potheads burn the inside of the car. This is what happens when you habitually smoke marijuana cigarettes. Smoke. So, we got to fix that, and then we got a fresh fender from the junkyard too. So pretty much the side of the car is going to be redone. LTMW and Street Fighter, they're putting together a whole new passenger side of the kit for us. And then we should be ready to rip. But we got to get this fender off first. So here we go. Drop the intro. Are you listening? car as you can see no way it's gonna fit on there with the wheel being on there so we're gonna jack it up get the gap between the wheel and the fender and then take our little aerosol that we borrowed from Anthony that cost him way too much money that he overpaid for and cut the fender up so it shouldn't be too bad of a task the biggest problem is getting like a nice radius but I can reference my last fender but I'm pretty sure I just came up probably about an inch in here rolled up and then cut just a just above this to the line and then back down. So I stayed on this factory like dimple here where the, or crease where the fender like bubble meets the flat section. And that was, I believe enough. We don't want to shave off too much underneath because we want the integrity to still be there. But it's all about the fitment. If the integrity's not there, <laughs> to integrity. It's all about the fitment. If the integrity's not there, then who cares? At least it looks good. Hey, get out of there. Now that we have the door off, we really want to drive it. So this is a sealant that BMW uses, but the fender, the back mount on the fender was running into it so we couldn't slide the fender back far enough. So now we're going to try to throw it on and see if we can get the alignment right. The idea really here is to secure the fender as good as we can get it, as close to the factory as possible, and then cut it up. So it's mounted all legit, it's not rattling, it's not shaking, and then we can go ahead and start worrying about getting it cut for the fitment. That'll be the last things we do after we get the fender all mounted and the door all mounted. Then we'll worry about the fitment. Fits a lot better. Gatorade bottle doing it here on the passenger side. Of his best friend Ryan, trying to. <laughs> Mike and Diaz, you're so funny. Yeah, I know, I try. Thank you, sir. So now we gotta get this fender gap, the hood gap figured out. It looks like it's pretty legit just sitting there. So we'll go ahead and open it and then just tighten it down. As you tighten it though, things can move, so just anticipate this line probably not being as exact as it was when you first did it. And then when you close it, you make sure you close it nice and easy, making sure that the gap stays even all the way. We're a little tight in comparison. Actually, no, it's pretty freaking legit. Yeah, I'd say that's it. Oh, sure. yeah, go ahead, hurry. To get one in, here, let me open it one. Switch sides, go to the other side. Other door, you go. You got the other door. Just get two of them started, one on the top, one on the bottom. Okay, it's on. All right, let it hang. Yeah, dude, saggy doors. You guys want to win that? I can raffle it off. <laughs> Ain't nobody want no door. Trash. Hey guys, my name is Mike Beeson. I'm doing a raffle of my uh, wrecked parts. 
You know what's actually really cool about this is it will finally, uh, well, I shouldn't jump the gun, but we'll probably have two working windows on the first BMW I've ever had with two working windows. My 7 Series passenger windows broken. My uh, 2002 didn't have a real handle on it, so that was technically broken. This car passenger window is broken. My E36 passenger window is broken. My E30, actually, I take it back. My E30 has both windows working on it. We gotta get this airbag out of here. This is the side molding for the door. It's like in and out, it won't stay on. So I wanted to salvage some of the little clip things off of that, off of the old door. To put onto this one, but it's not really working. It didn't work the way I thought it would, so now I'm just trying to slide over these like little rubber sleeves and try to get this stick on the door. Door fitted. Now we just gotta find all the little pins that go in the we secure the track. Alright, so what we may or may not experience right now is the world's first BMW with two working windows. Power's already on, doors in. I wasn't gonna tell you, babe. I was just gonna take you out on a date one night and then hopefully it started raining and I was gonna be like, oh my God, the window doesn't work. And then let you get soaked. Just for fun, for no good reason but fun. But I didn't do that because I love you. I went ahead and fixed it. You're welcome. See if we can clean the pothead off this window. I mean, uh, smoke stuff. That's when I was ready. Here you go. Poor flavor. Sick invite for the hot box, my dudes. I actually don't smoke. You can ask all my friends who do. <laughs> they never have to share with me. Oh my goodness. It smells like four. It's gonna need another round. Probably gonna need like three more rounds. How about I don't get arrested for possession? Even though it's just accumulated on my window without my knowing. You know what I mean? It happens, dude. Just turns into one of those things like, I swear that's not mine. I didn't even know that was here. You know what I mean? I gotta outrun the cops, pick up Hugo while I'm in the process, just so I have a ride or die, and a way that I can say, hey, we're minorities. Then the cops can't do anything to us, otherwise they got, the, they got a lawsuit on their hands. Right, Hugo? Right. I beat the system. I feel like this just isn't working. Five hours later. All right, I'm about to show you guys the easiest and fastest way to clean the window. I want you to just stand there and film that for them so you can see it up close. Stand right here? Yeah, right there. All right, so if you really want to clean your windows, first try, no second go. What you're going to want to do is start the roll down process and then just tell everybody it's clean and you're good. You up. Voila. That was free. Next one. Don't even think about it. All right, so because of the amount of poke we have and how low the car is, the fender needs to get cut off. So this is kind of the process. Draw out a super straight line, which is not straight at all, and then you cut it. And it really matters how perfect this looks underneath because everyone's gonna see it. All right, fender's on, door's on. We're gonna have to buff out the fender and door, try to get the shine up a little bit more because it's definitely weather beat. See, there's kind of a little bit of difference in white, but uh, as soon as we get the uh, Street Fighter kit and we have LTMW paint it, this whole side will look all pretty again. It's already looking 10 times better. Um, so we should be good. 
Yeah, that's super dirty. All that can be washed up. I think just a car wash will make it. Definitely look a little bit closer in color, but she'll use a buff and then she'll shine up nice. There's always Kigos here. My man. I'll be jealous. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe. Tell your homies about us. See where this thing goes.